Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you read that title, then yes, I'm gonna be telling you about the time I touched a lion fish. For those of you who already know what a lionfish is, then yes, I know you're thinking like, why would you touch a lionfish? And <laughs> I'm gonna get into that. And for those of you who don't know what a lionfish is, a lionfish, in a short definition, is a venomous fish. It's a very colorful, exotic fish with long, flowing fins that have barbs inside of them that will sting you. And yes, they hurt very, very bad. So it was two days before the 4th of July. And I remember that because my aunt's birthday is on the 4th of July. I was over my aunt's house with my sister and my cousin, my older cousin was there cleaning my aunt's fish tank. My aunt has always had these big elaborate fish tanks with all kinds of pretty fish inside of them. And the tank needed to be cleaned out. So my cousin, he got all the fish out. He got all the fish out and saved the most difficult fish, which was the lionfish. So he's going back and forth trying to get this fish out because the fish is just swimming back and forth like he does not want to be messed with and he was not easy to get out the tank. So finally when my cousin did get him out of the tank, which was maybe 10 minutes later, he had the net, which was pretty long, and the fish was down here and he had the net closed up here, which is something I should have paid attention to and took into consideration. But I did it, that's why we're here. The fish is down here and he has the net closed like this. And you know, he puts the fish inside of this red bucket and then he has to go upstairs to get a few other things so he can start to clean out the tank. Me and my sister were just sitting in the room waiting for him to come back down and I'm hovering over the bucket and I'm just looking at this fish. It's a beautiful fish, just not touch worthy beautiful. And I'm just looking over inside the bucket and I'm like, I wanna touch it. I wanna see how it looks like when he flutters away. And my sister was like, mm -mm, just leave the fish alone. Don't touch it. And I'm like, it, it, it won't, nothing bad will happen. Like he's just going to flutter away inside the bucket. And she's like, no, that's stupid. Just leave the fish alone. And I'm like, I'm going to just touch it and see what he does. Bad idea. But my sister was like, okay. So I'm leaning over the bucket and I got my finger just like that. I'm thinking he might move just a little bit, but he doesn't. He's just sitting right there. So my finger is going further and further inside the bucket. And it was just, it was just a little blink. And everything changed. I remember I just started jumping up and down and I was looking at my sister and she was just sitting back and I'm just jumping up and down. My finger is just oozing and dripping blood. Like blood is just oozing down my hand and I'm like ow 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 and I run outside to where my aunt was she was talking to one of her friends and I'm like I touched the fish I touched the fish she's like what happened and I'm like I touched the fish and she looks at my hand and she sees all the blood flowing down my arm and she's like what the hell happened to you I touched the fish I touched the fish she come inside the house she see my sister sitting right there she like she touched the fish that's inside the bucket and my aunt like what fish inside the bucket and she leaned her head over and see what fish was in the bucket. And she said, this girl done sat up here and touched the damn lionfish. So I'm jumping up and down. I'm screaming and crying at this point because my hand is starting to swell like rapidly. And a lot of blood is coming out. I'm scared. Like, is, is this the end for me? So my aunt is heated at this point. Like she can't believe like I done sat here and touched this fish because this is definitely about to be a go to the hospital trip. And she had already had to take my little cousin up to the hospital. So the fact that she was about to take somebody else up to the hospital, you know, she was just saying like, they gonna think I'm doing something to y'all. Like, I can't believe you sat there and did that. Now remember, I said my cousin went upstairs really quick to go grab some things so he could clean the tank. So when he came back downstairs, 
he was pretty confused. He did not know what was going on. And he was asking like, what happened that fast? I just went upstairs like a minute ago. And my aunt's like, her stupid ass done touched the lionfish. And he was just looking at me like, oh, like with this kind of chuckle, like, oh, you done touched the fish. And I'm crying, I'm rocking back and forth. So my aunt, she's yelling, she tell my sister, like, look up the side effects of touching a lionfish. And when my sister's typing in the side effects of touching a lionfish, my cousin pulls me into the kitchen and he takes my hand, cuts on some hot water, and he's just squeezing my hand like this. And I'm trying to pull away and I'm screaming like, ouch, no, that hurts, that hurts. And he's like, no, I got to, like, we gotta get that poison out your finger. I got to, so just hold still. And he's just constantly just squeezing and just push it on my finger <sighs> that hurt so so very bad y'all get inside the car and my aunt like, is enraged at this point she's trying to get a hold of my mom and my mom's not answering the phone she's not answering our home phone or her cell phone at the time i think she was out to eat or something but she didn't hear her phone so my aunt was leaving voice messages like um hello pick up your phone your daughter done sat up here and touched the damn lionfish meanwhile my sister just sitting in the back seat of the car just chill nonchalant just letting the wind blow through her hair i guess she was feeling pretty justified because she told me three times not to touch that fish that it was a bad idea i'm sitting in the passenger seat of the car and i'm asking my aunt like crying like are we almost there are we almost there and she's looking at me like just shut up i don't want to hear nothing just shut up and i'm just crying 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 we pull up to the hospital we go inside the doctors see like oh this is serious and i sit up on a little table and the guy he's at the computer and he's asking all kinds of questions and he's like okay well on a scale of one to ten what is your pain right now and i'm just looking at him like what do you mean what is my pain right now like from one to ten, a thousand. It hurts really, really bad. And then he asks, like, okay, um, what exactly happened? And this is where Children's Hospital history was made. No one had ever came into the hospital with this particular problem before. So this was something new to all of the doctors. Majority of them had to look up exactly what a lionfish was they had never even heard of this fish before so they were just confused like um okay uh where were you at when this happened and i got asked that question so many times where were you at when this happened and why did this happen and what made you do that and this was something that the doctors never dealt with before they didn't even know how to properly like treat me they didn't know what to do so you know they just they had to do an extensive amount of research and they ended up coming with the solution of soaking my hand in hot water. They took me into a room and they got me all set up. They were keeping track of my blood pressure and everything. And I was just kind of sitting there with my eyes rolling to the back of my head, just in pain. Not too long after that, once I'm sitting in the room with my hand in the bucket, um, my mom and my dad comes in. And obviously my mom's heard the story at this point and she just comes in and she's looking at me like, Mm, mm, mm. that was pretty stupid and yeah, my sister she just still sitting there she's just feeling good like she's just telling everybody like i told her not to touch the fish i had to stay in the hospital overnight they had to monitor me and you know just make sure everything was going to be okay especially because they had never had a situation like this before and my my hand at this point was starting to swell like it was beyond just my finger it was my hand all the way up to my arm right here so it had got pretty bad and um that pain was terrible so the next day there was a new group of doctors that came in and they had all heard about the story but they wanted to hear from the girl who touched the fish herself what happened what made you touch this fish where were you at when you touched this fish Wow. Like all the doctors were in just such shock. And come to find out, my little cousin that was taken up to the hospital, he ended up being right across the hall from me. I'm in one room and he's literally right across the hall. So that was an even more uh, crazy situation. I remember I posted a picture up on Facebook of the results of my hand after touching the fish. 
and everybody was just like well wow uh that was smart of you and you know those are venomous fish right and i'm just responding like well obviously no i didn't know it was a venomous fish that's why i touched it that's why i'm sitting here at the hospital now i definitely learned to leave exotic creatures alone leave them alone look but don't touch so anyway, that was my story, guys, on touching a lionfish. Don't touch a lionfish, guys, because it hurts. If you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Go check out my other videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.